Hey gang, I'm in the middle of rotting this carter I just got. So I figured I'd make a little video on the differences between a uh, carter and a fessenden. So they're pretty comparable uh, as far as price range, um, adjustability, quality of parts. Um, most likely they're going to be about the same age, right? Carters were made from like 90 to 2005, something like that. Um, most fessendens you're going to find are going to be around that age too. Um, so let's dive in. All right, so they're both um, all pool guitars, right? So we got the springs. They're both going to have nylon tuners in the back. Um, lever system is going to be pretty similar, right? Kind of the main difference, as you can see how um, the levers are on usually a different cross shaft and then pull on the cross shaft with the bell cranks. Right, same here. Um, kind of the main difference is going to be the bell cranks themselves. So you see here, and the bell cranks have little holes, right? So to add a rod, you take this little, let me get it in there, this little barrel, right? You're gonna slide, let's do this one. You slide it through the hole, right? And then you're gonna take a rod with the hook end and then hook it through. Um, this is also the same, pretty much the same as what my MCI was. The MCI had barrels, um, but you would also have to use a hex wrench to take them in and out. They had little fasteners inside the barrel. Um, so this is a little bit simpler than that, um, but way more of a pain than on the Fessenden, right? So you can see the Fessenden has little forks. So again, the rod's bent. Um, so if you want to change which hole, all you have to do is loosen up the nylon tuner and then slide it into the next hole. Whereas this one, if you want to change which one it's in, you've got to take the barrel out, right? Put it in the next one and then add the rod, which doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But on an older guitar like this, you're going to be dealing with bent bell cranks, right? So some of the holes aren't going to fit. Um, you can see like, let's see, see that one's broken. Um, some of them are just kind of bent, so you can't really get the barrel all the way through in a certain hole. You can try to kind of pry it apart. Again, that's dangerous on a guitar this old. Um, so that's the main difference. You can see the legs are attached basically the same. Um, I do like these fasteners a little bit better, right? It's front facing, which some people don't like because it gets in the way of their foot. Um, whereas these are on the side, but again, um, just hooks through a hole. Um, the pedal gets stopped by that, right? By the, the height of that screw. And on these, you can see that it's stopped on the inside, right? So on its way on its way down rather than on the other guitar it gets stopped on its way up um, so kind of an interesting difference um, but basically they're let's see looks like the Fessenden might be a little bit uh, taller the um, the Carter has an extinction on it right um, so that's where I'm pretty sure this is to extend the rods. Um, but really, that's all I wanted to share with you. The changer is pretty much the same. Um, again, the parts are pretty pretty much all the same quality. It looks like just an aluminum alloy. Um, so there you go. Carter versus Fessenden. You decide. A right, couple things I forgot to mention. The Carter is going to be easier to string because you just hook the string in there and pull it across. Whereas on the Fessenden, uh, there we go. 
you gotta kinda hook it on a nub, which sometimes when you're pulling it to tension, it'll pop off and can be very frustrating. But on the plus side, the Fessenden has some split tunings, even at this um, lower level of Fessenden, and the Carter does not. So, there you go. Bye.